Next is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Fourth chapter, text number 13. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on April 8, 1973, in New York. Chatud Bandam Maya Sistam Guna Karma Bibhagasa Tasa Kataram Api Mang Bidhi O Kataram Abayam This is a verse from Bhagavad Gita. Most of you know this book, Bhagavad Gita. It is very famous. Book of Knowledge, and we are presenting Bhagavad Gita as it is. This Krishna consciousness movement means to present Bhagavad Gita as it is, without any adulteration. <clears throat> so Krishna says, uh, Four classes of men. Chatur Varna. Chatur means four. And Varna means division of society. Just like Varna means collar. As there are division of collar, red, blue, and yellow. Similarly, uh, human being, human society should be divided according to the quality. The quality is also called caller. Chatur Bandang Maya system Guna Karma Vibhav. So there are three qualities. Uh, in this material world. Three qualities or three colors. Uh, red, blue, and yellow. You mix it, then you become eighty-one colors. Uh, three colors, uh, three upon three multiplied, it becomes nine. Nine upon nine multiplied, it becomes eighty-one. So there are uh, eight million four hundred thousand different forms of living entities. Uh, due to this mixture of different qualities, nature is manufacturing different types of body according to the association of the living entity to the particular type of quality. Living entities are part and parcel of God. Suppose God is the big fire and living entities are just like sparks. The sparks, they are also fire. Uh, sparks also, if one spark falls on your body, on your garment, it burns. But it is not as powerful as the big fire. Similarly, God is all-powerful, God is great. We are part and parcel of God. Therefore, our greatness is very, very small, infinite sima. God is great, therefore He has uh, created so many universes. Uh, we cannot account for even one universe. This one universe which we see, the sky, the dome, within that sky 
outer space, there are millions and trillions of stars, planets, they are floating. Floating in the air, everyone knows. Huh? We can float one Sputnik in the sky, and we take so much credit that we have become very, very great scientists who don't care for more. This is foolishness. Foolish person will say like that, but one who is intelligent, he knows that God is floating millions and trillions of planets in the sky, and what we have done in that comparison. This is intelligence. So, we have become very much proud of our scientific knowledge, and therefore at the present moment we defy the existence of God. Sometimes we say that I have become God now. These are foolish statements. We are nothing in comparison to the intelligence. He is also intelligent. Because we are part and parcel of God, that we can study what is God if we simply study ourselves. Just like if you study a drop of sea water, if you analyze chemically, you will find so many chemicals in that drop. So you can understand what is the composition of the sea, the same composition but in greater quantity. That is the difference between God and ours. Uh, we are a small gods, we can say, a small gods, tiny, sample gods. Uh, therefore we are so much proud. But we should not be proud because we should know that all our qualities are taken from God, because we are part and parcel. So originally all these qualities are there in God. And therefore Vedanta Sutra says, what is God, what is absolute truth, athāta brahma jīgyāsā, when inquire about God, about the absolute truth, the answer is immediately given. Janmādhyasya jataha. The absolute truth is that from whom everything comes, everything emanates. So everything is coming from God. He is the original source of all supplies. Now, what is our position? There are innumerable living entities. Nitya nityanam chetana chetanana. That is Vedic information. God is also a living entity like us, but he is the chief living entity. And we are also living entity, just like one father. Father may have got twenty children, twenty sons. Formerly they used to have one hundred sons. Now the fathers have no such power, but uh, in the up to uh, five thousand years ago, King Dhritarashtra gave birth to one hundred sons. Uh, now we are we say we are saying that we are overpopulated, but that's not the fact. At the present moment, where there is the question of overpopulation, population, now how many of us giving birth uh, hundreds of children? No, nobody. But formerly, uh, a father could give birth to one hundred children. So there is no question of overpopulation. Uh, and even there is overpopulation, we get information from the Vedas. Eka ju bahunam vidhati kamat. That one chief living entity, God, He can maintain innumerable 
living entity. There is no question of overpopulation. This is a false theory. If God can create, He can maintain also. Uh, and actually this is the fact. Uh, I am tra traveling all over the world. There are so much vacant places upon the surface of the globe that the ten times more than the present population can be easily maintained. But we, we, we do not know how to use it. In Africa, in Australia, in your America, enough land is still lying. But because we have encroached upon the land of Krishna, the difficulty is there. China is overpopulated, India is overpopulated. Uh, but if we take to Krishna consciousness, these difficulties will be over within a second. Krishna consciousness means to take everything Krishna's. I am also Krishna's. That is Krishna consciousness. Actually that is fact. Everything Krishna means God. Everything belongs to God. I also belong to God. Ishavasa midam sadvam. Everything belongs to God. That's the fact. But we do not accept the fact. We take something illusory. That which is called maya. Just like the Americans, they are claiming this land is for the American group. Similarly, other nations, they do. But the land actually belongs to God. The land, the sky, the water, and the products in the land, in the sky, in the water, everything belongs to God. And we are children of God. We have got the right to live at the expense of Father, just like we live, small children. They live at the cost of Father. Uh, similarly, we also live by the arrangement of God. Why should we claim that this is our property? This is the idea of spiritual communism. Uh, in Bhagavad, these things are stated. How to be spiritual communism? In the spiritual communism, the present communist, they are thinking of the human being only. And the animals are being sent to the slaughterhouse. Although the human being and the animal is born in the same land, actually they are also nationals. National means one is born in that particular land. So why not these animals national? But because they have no Krishna consciousness, they cannot think so broadly. They think nationalism means it is limited to the human being, not to the animals, not to the trees. But when you become Krishna conscious, you understand that the trees, the plants, the reptiles, the aquatics, the human being, the beast, everyone, each and every one, part and parcel of God. According to their karma, they have got different bodies. The collar, as I explained. According to karanam gunasanga asya sadasad janma jyonishu. These things are described in the Bhagavad Gita. One has got a different type of body according to his karma. Uh, karma na dhaiva netrena janta deha upapatai. By karma we create next body. So this is a great science. Uh, people do not know how things are taking place, how there are so many species of life, how one is so-called happy, so-called distressed, why one is rich, one is poor, 
Uh, why there are so many planets? Why some of them are demigods, some of them are human beings, some of them are animals? It is a great science. But there is no uh, cultivation of this knowledge uh, in the modern universities or educational institutions. Perhaps we are the only group of men who are trying to uh, propagate this science of Krishna consciousness. Uh, but it is a perfect science to understand the position. <coughs> now, Krishna says, chatut varnam maya system karma vibhava When we are animals, we have to pass through animal bodies. By evolution we have come to this human form of body. Now it is an opportunity to get out of this uh, cycle of birth and death. This is our real problem. But people, because they have no education, poor fund of knowledge, there is no education and institution how transmigration of the soul takes place. They do not know. Big, big MA, PhDs, but they do not know. What is the actual position of the living entity? Hmm. But uh, that is the real problem. They do not know the real problem. The real problem is, it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, Jarma mittu jara vyadhi, birth, death, old age and disease. This is real problem. Uh, nobody wants to take bath. At least nobody wants to die, birth and death. Wherever there is birth, there must be death. Anything which is born must die. Uh, <coughs> so, John moment and old age, so long you leave, you have to change your position. Uh, so one position is this old age, just like we have become old, there are so many complaints. Uh, ja and badly, and when he become disease, everyone should become disease, everyone should become old, everyone must die. This is the problem. Janma mitu jara badly, dukho dosanu dosa. We are trying to mitigate uh, all our miserable conditions of life. That is struggle for existence. We are scientists. We are discovering many counteracting processes to get out of this test condition. But the difficult position, Janma Mitsu Jarabadi, we are avoiding. Then we cannot do anything. Uh, we cannot do the, the so called science, they cannot solve this problem, although sometimes they falsely become proud that by science we shall become immortal and so on. These things were tried before also by a thick class of men like Ravana, Hirna, Prasipu. But it is not possible to become successful, to stop birth, death, old age and disease. That is not possible. If there is any possible process, that is Krishna consciousness. That is Krishna consciousness. If you become Krishna conscious, then you can uh, get a body, not get, you have already got the body, spiritual body, and upon that spiritual body, this material body has developed, just like dress. Your coat is cut according to your body. Similarly, this material body is cut according to our spiritual body. So we have got our spiritual body. This material body is covering. Bhāsāṁ uh, si Just like dress, your shirt and coat is the covering of your real body. Similarly, this body, gross body and subtle body, uh, made of material elements, uh, the gross body is made of earth, water, air, fire, and the subtle body is made of mind, intelligence, and ego. 
This is the certain core. Within this certain core, there is the soul. So, the soul is now encased in this material body. And our business in the human form of body, in animal form of body, we cannot do this. But the human form of body, we can understand that I am not this body. The body, this material body, is a outer encasement. And because I have got this body, I am subjected to birth, death, old age, and disease. Now, in the human form of body, I understand it. So, if I take the process, how to get out of this cycle of birth and death, then our human life is success. This is Krishna Consciousness Movement. How we are helping people how to get out of this material body and revive your own spiritual body. And in that spiritual body you go back to home, back to God. This is the problem. Tapta de hang punar janma naiti. The people are so they are attracted to this material body that they are prepared to become cats and dogs next life, but they are not prepared to go back to home, back to God. This is the problem. So why this problem? Because the human society is in chaos, a chaotic condition. There must be division of four classes. One class must be Brahmana, intelligent class. And one should be Kshatriya, one class, the administrator, because human society, they require good consulting brain, good administrators, good producers, and good workers. That is the division of Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Sudhi. Therefore Krishna says, Chatur Bhannanga Maya system in order to uh, keep smooth facilities for human life, there must be four divisions. Uh, if you say that don't, we don't require Brahmana, uh, if you don't require Brahmana, then you will suffer. That's like you have got this body, and if you think, this part of the body is very expensive, all is eating, cut it out. <laughs> then he is dead. Uh, similarly, just to keep your body in good condition, in living condition, you must have your head, you must have your arms, you must have your belly, you must have your legs. You cannot say that I can avoid this part of the body. No. Similarly, chatut varnang maya system, the four divisions of the society, must be there. Otherwise it will be chaotic, a dead body. So at the present moment, the difficulty is, there is no brāhmaṇa, there is no khatriya. There are only the vaiṣyas and the sūdhyas. Beli, vaiṣya means belly. And Sudra means the leg. So if out of the four divisions one is wanting, the society must be in chaotic condition. The four must exist. Although comparatively head is the most important part of the body, still you cannot neglect the leg also. This is a cooperative combination. So we have to cooperate. It doesn't matter. One is very intelligent, one is less intelligent, one is less intelligent. The four classes are there. The most intelligent class is the head, brain. And the next intelligent class, the administrator, government. The next intelligent class, the industrialist, merchants. The next intelligent class is the water. All of them are required. But at the present moment, there is only this mercantile industrialist and worker. 
there is no brain. How to conduct society? Uh, how to become perfect human society? How to fulfill the mission of human society? For these things there is no brain. Uh. <coughs> so this Krishna consciousness movement is creating some brain of the human society. Uh. Brahman. Uh. And this brain, Brahmana's business is uh, uh, Brahmana, this word, very word comes. Namo Brahmana Devaya Go Brahmana Hitaya Jagadhitaya Krishnaya Govindaya Namo Namo. So, Brahmana means one who knows God. That is Brahman. Uh, and keeping in view God, they uh, teach us others to become God conscious. Without becoming God conscious, the human society is simply animal society, because animals cannot be God conscious. However, you may go on preaching amongst the animal cats and dogs. It is not possible, because they have no brain to understand what is God. So, in the human society, if there is no brāhmaṇa who can teach about God, who can elevate person to God consciousness, then it is also animal society. Uh, simply eating, sleeping, and sex life and defense, these are the business of the animals also. The animals also know how to eat, how to sleep, how to enjoy sex life, how to defend. They know in their own way. Uh, so simply to do these business does not mean human being. Then the human, the mission of human being will not be fulfilled. There must be the four classes of man, as Krishna recommends. Chatut varnang maya sushta. There must be a brahminical class of man, a, a kshatriya class of man, a vaishya class. There are already, but they are not very scientifically settled as it is uh, propounded in the Bhagavad Gita, Chatut Bannang Maya system. Uh, these are Guna Karma Viva. Guna means according to quality. So uh, in India these four classes of men are there, but they are in the name. Actually it is also in the chaotic condition because nobody is following the prescription as given by Bhagavad Gita. Guna Karma Vibhara. In India, although a person born in a Brahman family, but his guna qualities are less than Sudra, but still he is being accepted as a Brahman. That is the difficulty. Therefore, India's condition is so chaotic. But this is a scientific process. You Western people, you should try to understand that. And our boys and girls who have joined, they are trying to understand and execute the principles. So, if you take up this Krishna consciousness movement, which is meant for the brāhmaṇas, if you become brāhmaṇa by quality, then your, the Western nations will be, especially in America, they will be first class nation. Really first class nation. You have got intelligence, you have got resources, uh, you are also inquisitive, you catch up good things, so you have got good qualities, you take up this Krishna consciousness movement seriously, and you will become the first class nation of the world. That is my request. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.